everyone. This is Jaxus. Okay. Here to commentate this match between G-Man, the Cosmic Destroyer, and Connor. Uh, G-Man has been showing a lot of skill with Zelda lately. Um, Connor, on the other hand, is definitely a beast in melee. I don't, I haven't actually seen him do Cam that much because this is our second tournament for him. However, he seems to be putting up a pretty good fight. These are the two highest point totals in the Swiss round right now, and this is the final round before top. So, so there's actually four seeds in top. We are not yet in finals though. So, um, G-Man has the advantage at range, and I think close up. It seems like with his down smash and up smash speed on them. However, Mark definitely controls the mid-range game. But he has a lot of trouble working around the Dim's fire, from what I can see. Also that in also that That's a problem. It's uh, I don't know, against Marth you have to get you have to either outrange him in melee or be able to avoid a lot of his traps. Because basically his sword swings are just faster, specifically his aerials. Um, because you can just L cancel and have basically no lag. He's one full stock down. But honestly, I, I believe that a solid lightning or up air right now could even it back up. I mean, he still has the percent disadvantage, however, yeah. if he can get a solid combo or string in, then as Zelda he can rack that damage up really quickly. However, he has to recover correctly. He's gonna overshoot again. Yep, that will not kill. If he overshoots again. And that that the problem with that is uh G-Man is not super used to PM. He's been playing it a bit lately, but it it's He's definitely more knowledgeable about, say, Brawl, so the different fall speeds between Zelda and Brawl and PM could be throwing him off there. But I honestly don't know. Maybe it was just the pressure. Uh, because we will be streaming Melee once it hits top. No, we will be streaming Melee once it hits top. Anyways, it looks like... Two, one, go! I'm sure they can. But, um, Marth getting in some very solid early damage with a couple of up tilts to forward air, two forward smash, and then edge guarding. Jin seems to be having some very serious trouble recovering from off stage against Marth, and I'm not sure if it's specifically against Connor's Marth or if he's just not being able to reliably hit where he's aiming for. It's probably the fact that he can't reliably hit where he's aiming for because otherwise he's taking on Connor pretty well. It's just recovering. I mean, Marth is very solid at edge guarding, but it, it feels like he man is missing the ledge a lot of times. He's also I bet what it is is that uh, he keeps overshooting from underneath. In Brawl, if you try that, you snap the ledge instead of going the full distance. Like that right there would have grabbed the edge. However, as this is, well, project melee, not melee, that doesn't work. You just straight up overshoot it and off it goes straight into another attack. But nice it appears that a back. more aggressive uh, recovery. <laughs> strategy is serving him better. Almost manages to get Edgehog out of the up B and using up B as an attack. Although probably by accident. No? Um, with the space. Oh, just barely misses hitting him with the attack hitbox there. Yeah. But with the spacing he's using, it would have to be on purpose. Short hop, sweet spot, lightning kick. Yep, he knows it, so he decides to just run right back into the match as fast as he can. And he's starting to bring it back pretty well. But, looks like he is off stage. Ooh! It, okay, I was gonna say, as long as G-Man can make this recovery, then that was, that was really good. He's probably got a chance of pretty good chance of winning. Although he is at a pretty big disadvantage in person. Yep, and Marth does kill. 
All right, and so with that, Connor ends up taking the set. Let's see, I'll go find out who's up next. This